Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of building a theme park without any game passes and today we are going to be building something I am extremely excited for but also extremely terrified. We are going to be building the station for the hybrid coaster. I have an amazing plan but I have no idea if it's actually going to work so let's just get straight into this. So I want to do something more special than just a standard box for the station. I want to build a castle but the castle is not going to be very normal in some way. So from a distance from the left side the castle is going to look all nice very completed and just in one piece but on the other side on the right side the whole castle is going to be one big ruin just completely broken down. So we will have sort of two builds that becomes one into one big castle which is hopefully going to look very good. I have been playing around with some wall designs and some other stuff so I hope it's going to work but it is going to be very challenging adding some of the, these parts especially since it is going to be on top of a slanted mountain so that's going to make it even harder so let's uh, yeah let's go maybe for this build we will be using these bricks since well that just looks the most like an actual castle as you can see we still have like a gap here i have no idea how i'm actually going to build that up now that i'm thinking about maybe just some rocks so let's just first make the actual platform for the station itself i am planning to make it actually quite big and how long should we make it we now have all long. Maybe, maybe 10 i think that's around the right size for like a castle yeah i think that's that's good enough okay let's fill this all in i'm going to do a lot of like trickery with using primitives and then walls and fences and just all other sort of types of pieces to actually try and add some detail to this since well it is going to be quite challenging adding detail to like just a cube which it's we're going to start with but then we're going to expand it add more shapes add other stuff i hope it's going to work as i said i am still not 100 percent sure okay so at the bottom i think we can maybe use these and all what if we paint these just one tint darker so we have oh so we have this at the bottom okay okay let, let's just do this and what i'm going to be building is just completely first do the left side and then the right side later since that's going to be a little bit different so let's say we have these pieces but on the right side we're not going to use these we are going to the yeah the, the ruins a little bit different and you can actually tell in your head like oh the, the other side is actually like completely like ruined and yeah i'm just going to detail this with a lot of just these yeah brick poles and just painting them on a certain way and i think this looks pretty nice oh maybe you can even use a thinner pole on top of here and yeah this already starts to look way more detailed than just a flat wall so i'm probably going to leave a few of these since i think i should maybe add an extra room around here maybe even an extra wide and i feel like maybe there's going to be like maybe something maybe like uh, the queue here for now i might place it like there so in the future we will have like also the tower going all the way up here yeah i think for now this is fine and maybe also one on the other side so it's going to be more here in the back and that's just mainly to make it look a little bit better since otherwise i feel like it's just going to be one big rectangular and i'm not sure if i really want that let's just first do the the left side and while i'm at it i'm actually going to add some of the terrain under here i think i'm just going for now just with some grass i hope this still fits at the grass level around here and then on here on the side i'm probably going to add like these sort of rocks so it looks a little bit better promo for a little bit later let's first just get the, the castle itself okay let's first fill in all these poles that we want to have i don't know what i'm really doing i'm just like the more different shapes you have in a building it starts to look better or i i hope so i feel like there should be something in here if we just add all the chains around here oh that actually i was I'm not thinking of doing that, but that actually has worked pretty damn well, not gonna lie. Okay, I really like that. Okay, now we need to have something on top of here. What can we use? No, that's maybe a bit too high. What what else sort of piece do we have? Nothing in here. We have something at the fence there. Oh, oh, that actually can work. Oh, but we do... Oh, wait, you can place those for each other? Okay, this is... Okay, instant hit. And what if we paint these? Then the gray color. Oh my... Yes. Yes, please. Give me, give me more of this. And then we can, of course, fill in the corners perfectly with that paint that oh yes oh there is actually a bit of a gap in there but that means we have to fill that in maybe we can do it with some primitive like this can we okay okay that's going to be a problem now that i'm thinking of it but i think i will be able to maybe think about it something that's going to be difficult maybe i'm going to delete these two since the entrance will be there <laughs> i might just do that otherwise i don't think i'm going to be able and what i'm going to do on the other side i don't know and same for this corner i actually did not really think about that 
And then I guess we're gonna take this maybe even one higher. Just so we have the actual. I don't think I can really add any windows in here. That's that's maybe a downside. But I'm sure we will find another like place to maybe add some of those. But this already starts to look pretty nice. Of course, from the left side, it's going to be all normal. And then the other side, I can actually like break everything down and just remove parts and change them up. Which hopefully is going to make it easier, but can also make it harder than I think. Okay, so th there is a problem I just discovered is that I can of course not add any detail to the walls on the inside. So what I might need to do is just get the walls on here again and then just place it there. That is looking a bit strange. I do I do definitely agree with it. I don't think this is like another good option. I guess I can actually add some walls like uh, or some, some windows in there. So that's maybe good on it. So if I just get like these windows and I start to place these like in there. Does that look nice? Um, like that. Oh, I actually, I don't don't mind this too much it does look maybe a bit strange maybe we should have some other like color since it's like a lot of gray now what what if we should maybe add some, some wooden beams i think that's also like something they used to have a lot okay i can place these here but does that look nice if i can i can i even lower these maybe one more oh i can oh i'm probably going to lower these actually then one more i think that can maybe look a bit better it is just a lot of trial and error as you can see just changing stuff up looking at stuff that maybe does work maybe doesn't work and that's just the hard thing of not having any game passes it's just you, you never really know if it, this is going to work you just can get the message hey uh buy the, this game pass and you cannot place it here and that is just quite hard to actually build with especially if of course you're used to always building but with every game pass you could skill stuff you can change stuff up however you want but to have to say this this does indeed look a little bit better than we place these on top of here and yeah oh ooh, i actually do kind of like that am i allowed to say that i know the overhang is going to be like quite a lot like i am i am curious i can of course not place anything in there but i don't think that really matters to be fair it definitely adds some color to it i think if we add some lights and some other stuff it can maybe be yeah pretty much working and okay, now that we got up here i guess i'm just going to add this wall on top of there the, as you can see this is getting quite a big castle but i kind of want it to be big and maybe to hide this ugly gap here i can place more of these vacate pieces then the roof that is going to be the next yeah i am so bad at doing roofs now my question is should i place them like this or should i place them more like that i'm just, I'm just going to try this i don't think sadly you do not have like half wall pieces so it's all over like you can not hang them half i'm not sure what i'm going to do with the roof for now but if i add like this darker red color as a trim like we add this and then we also add this one on top of there and how i'm going to be filling up these walls i don't know i'm probably just going to add the wall like this and then from this point on where the roof is going to be i'm going to add now like the tower i'm not sure how high the other tower is going to be of course we have to think about the high limit so i think the high limit is around uh it's around this so the other tower is probably going to be sort of there of course the tower is going to be like sort of broken down so it's maybe only going to be one piece that comes that high and then in front of here of course i'm just going to add these walls again from the inside this is starting to look as you can see pretty weird so what if we i'm, I'm just going to do something completely random right now and then i need to place it here there and there if i place this is here go around here and we can oh my god guys as as if it's meant to be but first we have to continue all these other walls and to get maybe a little bit more shape into here i can add this extra edge what i might do actually on the other side just I, I i know i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself i know just so it gets sort of the vibe like hey the left side is broken down and the right side is still fine okay what if we also add these poles maybe here and then a fun thing like all these windows on the left have windows in them and on the right we're going to remove all of those windows so sort of like all those windows have like been blown out right now i don't know what i'm doing guys really but i guess i'm going to add like like a roof this is starting to look a very chunky castle but from a distance does look a bit strange i know i i i, I agree with it i definitely agree with it and then comes the hardest part of actually the build the roof i feel like i probably should just make this part flat and i guess this is then the highest point of the roof but that's going to be all around here it's starting to look somewhat better i don't think i will ever be able to make this perfect with all well, the pieces i have and i'm also 
still still not sure if I should do the red roof. What do, what do we say of this, guys? If we make it more like dark green. Kind of like, actually, the red outline. Yeah, okay, no. The green roof definitely looks 10 times better. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... that's. I'm glad I did that. Okay, so I am now pretty happy with the other side. I think that turned out good enough, of course. As I said, now, tons of times. It is quite limited with what I can do. Of course, I still have to do the top tower right here. And, of course, all the nature and stuff around it. I think I'm now just going to work on the other side. And let's do it in the form of a time lapse. Okay, it is time to make the other side of this castle. And, well, as I've said, this is not going to be the completed castle. This one is going to be completely, yeah, I guess broken down. It's going to be one big ruin. And I am really excited for how this is going to turn out. I have some cool plans, mainly for the back. That's probably going to be like uh, this one massive hole. And the whole roof is just sort of like collapsed. But yeah, as you can see, I first sort of started with building the basic walls. And after that, I started deleting some pieces. Changing them for like the, yeah, sort of like broken-ish piece. You can see what I'm doing in the front. I first built that completely just normal nothing was broken and then i deleted some and that's i guess for me the easiest way to build so i just knew the shape itself was right and then i deleted some stuff which i think yeah works pretty pretty all right and i just i don't know i just like this side actually more than the side that is yeah all just in one piece and <laughs> um, it, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just weird. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just adding the same sort of detail at the bottom as the other side. Of course, we are adding all those broken pieces, as I said. And yeah, the, the floor itself shouldn't be too broken since what we're going to have there paths and the queue itself and the station. So I did want to have that just in, well, one piece. And then, yeah, as you can see, we are starting to sort of try and detail the tower since I felt like, hey, that's possible. And as you can see, I'm adding some fake windows and they're adding some pieces on top of that some wooden beams and then it already started to look a little bit better of course it's still nothing special and well it's mainly just so hey it's not that flat of a wall and yeah and then as you can see i'm just looking at the front i was not really sure about the front even at the end of the video i am still not 100 percent sure about what i did with it to be fair so yeah i'm just i think just explain to someone what i'm doing and then i felt like let's see what I'm going to be doing with the queue since that was quite difficult since well I wanted to have it go around but not entirely so you're seeing I'm like creating a path going down but in the end I wasn't really happy with where the entrance was since I kind of wanted to have the exit there so in a little bit later I completely changed everything around again and yeah you can just see me this is the whole back side of the building is just completely gone and now we are starting to build sort of like the wooden scaffolding that's normally in the castle but normally that's just all like put away with the brick walls but those brick walls have like collapsed and now you can see the wooden yeah supportive beams um, that is normally yeah hidden by the bricks and <laughs> you actually see me here trying to get the um, achievement for the orb since it was very dark in, <laughs> in here uh, great um, yeah you see me just adding all sort of fences to the queue of course people are not supposed to like jump off <laughs> and now I decided okay I don't like how the queue goes I'm just going to let it go over here uh, I actually made it one higher I don't know really why but it, I guess it just looks a little bit better and then we of course just added the whole queue path around it and it was quite hard to see how I'm going down in that area since as you see I do not have a lot of room so I had to delete some of the tower that was there and then it, in the end it worked out but it does look a bit off like it's not really how it's supposed to was but I, I would say it, it's good enough it's good enough for what this is of course possible without game passes and yeah I just add a lot of more of these wooden supports I don't know they're just really work and even these sort of like across beams and i guess these were it was like maybe the, the the main grand hall and then the rest of the castle itself is already a little bit broken down i'm also planning to add a few more of like smaller sort of castle on the hill um of like little towers and stuff like that so it's not just one random building in the middle of nowhere actually adding some more stuff to that and then i'm just going through some different walls adding some more 
broken pieces, adding a fence, and now just really like starting to work on the smaller details, or well, at least what's possible. So adding chest, adding barrels. Um, I'm looking like, how does it look from this side? How does it look from that side? Have I forgotten anything since? Well, when you're building so much like left, right, up and down, you sometimes do forget stuff. Um, like these, these wooden sort of planks, really, really finish it. These are like sort of like, yeah, how do you, normally you have these on like broken windows to like block them off. But I was like, I'm just going to use them everywhere I can with just a little bit more shape and stuff to it. And I think they actually turned out pretty nice. Then I decided, okay, um, this roof probably has like fallen down. So I'm going to add some roof pieces on the ground to just add a little bit of data to that. And I think that actually kind of worked. Now, probably one of the hardest things I had to do is try to come up with a roof for this. Just nothing really worked. I hated how this looks since it didn't really have a trim. That just looks terrible. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going for this. And then I'm adding a trim like this. It does not look the best since there's a little gap in there and stuff. But in the end... I think for what you can do without game passes, it is good enough. Then I was adding some more, yeah, smaller details to like how the tower looks. I'm adding some more barrels. And yeah, another thing that was quite important, of course, I had the light bulbs, which lighted everything up. And I needed some lanterns. And well, I placed that. And just the whole just atmosphere of this build just completely changed by it. And I actually really love it. Uh, up here is supposed to be then the dining room with those tables. Just It's, it's really hard to like try and theme some rooms when well, half the building is completely gone and you have of course um, yeah limitations on how you can build stuff but I think that yeah you can probably understand what it is and then I just added a few yeah like less poles to support stuff added some more trims to the roof making that look good and then yeah just a little bit more of like detail uh, which i of course try to do as much as possible but let's see how this turn out all right here we go here have we the somewhat looking castle um of course it's extremely hard to make a castle within theme park to and even harder without any game passes but i think in the end it did turn out pretty great i am really happy with it and i think the other side looks even better well that's of course completely broken down and just a ruin so as you can see, the other side is uh, not in one piece anymore and I'm really, really happy with it. So especially like when you look from the front, I tried to add a little bit of detail since this one looked really bad, but I don't really know. Uh, it's, it's hard for me. I don't know. I just cannot seem to find a good thing for that. But yeah, this is all broken down. The highest tower is all broken down. This back part, the whole roof is like almost split into and then just in here and especially when you go in the station as you can see there's a lot of wooden beams that's just really easy detail and i guess it's sort of how it's supposed to be like hold up but all like the structure that's normally on those wooden beams has like fallen off on both sides so you now can actually see the wooden beams themselves and then of course the queue itself that starts here on the entrance and then you uh, what i thought is like hey when it's buzzy you go on the long queue and when it's quiet you can open this fence so you can straight on go in but of course then it's it's really busy always in this theme park you go up yeah here sort of the what was once before the dining room and stuff <laughs> go around here i'm probably going to add still a few more details on the spots where i can but i don't really know what to add there and then you have this i love this view i added like a few of these chains um, hanging from the ceiling. I don't know why it just adds another sort of layer of detail that I guess works And then you continue here. You have a nice view from here. Really? You, you, you could see a nice view. Um, oh, that's a uh, Ignore that. I needed the light orbs to light up the belt as you've seen So that's why I built it that and yeah, this just all of these gaps It also has like a little bit like natural light in here Of course it, when it's raining it is going to be wet, but okay And then yeah, this this whole back part is just completely gone as you can see There's just nothing nothing left of it it. and then uh, yeah as you can see we went up a little bit and then we're going down mainly because i just didn't want it to be straight and i needed to go over it again and go down again and that's where you went up at the part where you just were and then you're going to get on the coaster and the exit is going to be in this hole right here and then all the exit is probably going to connect on this path so that is what we have done um yeah some parts still look a bit strange i might tweak them if you guys have any idea on how to easily detail to this walls without making it look that weird please let me know in the comments also please let me know in the comments what you think of this 
I made a very nice smiley by the way here. Um, <laughs> okay, um, I am I am really really happy with how this build turned out. It's like I was not expecting you could do something like this without game passes, and it's just like cleverly using some of the primitives and walls and combining them and adding multiple layers of stuff. So next episode we will be working on the outside queue and starting actually work on the mountain. As you've seen, I have connected some of the mountains in the back here and made that already work, but we're going to add a lot of more nature and, and maybe some more castle rooms where the queue will go through. I think that can also be very nice to add a little bit more of like a story to it. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will say as always, good bye.